Hi everyone, this is Suram and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss about the chapter of 7th standard chemistry that is the chapter name is the language of chemistry chapter number 5 so in this chapter we are going to discuss about the chemical reaction and how the chemical reaction can make more informative it what are the various steps and how the atoms rearrange themselves during the chemical reaction is it what are the energy changes in the chemical reaction and what are the characteristics of the chemical reaction is it? so all these points we are going to discuss about this in this chapter language of chemistry so let's start so in the ordinary language you would need many words to describe a chemical change is it? what you can do so using only a few letters and the numbers in the language of chemistry is it so jj Brazilius that led the foundation of this language in the early 19th century is it so it gradually developed into the present form so in this language an atom is represented by the symbol is it and molecule of an element or a compound by a formula is it and a chemical change is represented by an equation is it so you have learned about the symbols and the formula earlier already in this chapter we will discuss how a chemical change that is a chemical reaction is represented so what is a chemical reaction chemical reactions so we know that chemistry is the science of substances and their transformations is it? so what is meant by the transformation when a substance changes to another substance we say that it is transformed is it so in fact we can say that a chemical change a chemical reaction has take place taken place is it so for properly understanding a chemical reaction we must identify the substance we start with and those we end with is it these substances are called reactant and products respectively is it we are starting with the reactant and we are reaching at the products is it? so in other words a chemical reaction a reactant is a substance that changes to another substance that is called the product is it? that is a chemical reaction so the change of reactant to the product is represented by the chemical equation is it this is the chemical equation is it this is the chemical reaction equation here is it like glucose plus oxygen it gives carbon dioxide plus water plus energy the chemical equation is it in symbolic form we can write it like this also c6 h6 o6 c12 h is it glucose plus oxygen plus carbon dioxide it gives carbon dioxide water and energy so reactants in a chemical reaction we mention the reactants on the left hand side and the products on the right hand side with an arrow in between is it so there is an arrow between reactants on left side are the reactants and on right side there are the reactants and products can be represented by the formula as in the formula of their names in the words or by both is it <coughs> here these are the names and these are the formulas symbols is it so an equation using only words is called the word equation is it is this is called the word equation is it so we will use the word equation at this label is it so you will learn about these other types of and the higher classes is it so generally two or more reactant take part in the chemical reaction but a chemical reaction may involve only one reactant two also 
process for example hydrogen peroxide on wing heater breaks up into the water and oxygen it is only having one reactant there can be one reactant or more than one reactant also similarly limestone or heating it gives quick lime and the carbon dioxide also is it so such reactions are called the decomposition reaction is it so it involves only one kind of reactant so the product may be two or more than two is it so on being heated baking soda that is sodium hydrogen carbonate it decomposes into sodium carbonate is it what are the decomposition reactions decomposition reactions that involves only one kind of reactant and it can be have more than two products is it? one reactant can change into more than two products is it? so here you can see ferrous sulfate crystals only one reactant is there on heating it will change ferrous sulfate and water vapor is it that is called the decomposition reaction is it in a complex reason complex reactant this is the complex reactant which changes into two or more than two products is it one reactant is changing into two or more than two products decomposition reaction then how we can make a chemical reaction more informative making a chemical reaction or a chemical equation more informative so to minimize the use of language we try to make the chemical equation more informative is it so this is done in these ways number one mentioning the conditions of a reaction is it so under what condition a chemical reaction take place conditions are mentioned on the arrow in the equation is it so if a substance a reacts with the substance b at 500 degrees celsius in the temperature at the air atmosphere and changes into the products that is substance c and d so we write the equation a plus b a plus b are the reactants and c plus d are the products so conditions are 500 degrees celsius is the temperature and eight atmosphere is the eight atmosphere is the pressure so here one more example if hydrogen peroxide slowly gets converted into water and the oxygen if left alone but reaction takes place quickly in the presence of manganese oxide is it manganese dioxide so which remains unchanged so manganese dioxide react as a catalyst in this case is it so hydrogen peroxide in the presence of manganese dioxide changes into water plus oxygen so manganese dioxide this is the condition here is it if we add the manganese dioxide here is it then hydrogen peroxide changes quickly into water and oxygen is it so this if we mention this here manganese dioxide it has made our reaction more informative is it that is it is changing this reaction is changing in the, in the presence of manganese dioxide so manganese dioxide act as a catalyst here what is a catalyst a catalyst is a substance that generally speeds up the reaction is it but itself remains unchanged means a catalyst now is not taking part in the chemical reaction it is just speeding up the reaction it is making the rate of reaction fast is it then second step is mentioning colors and states of reactants and products if needed the colors and states of the reactants and products are written within the small brackets below their names is it take a look over this equation for example copper 2 sulfate pentahydrate is it it is having the blue color crystal is it blue color crystal is when it is heated to 200 degrees celsius condition is 200 degrees celsius written on the arrow it changes into copper 2 sulfate that is white powdery form white powder of copper 2 sulfate and water vapor 
is it so here the states of the reactants and the product is written is it that is a blue crystal color is also written is it and this is the white powder and this is the vapor is it so from the reaction we came to know about the states of the reactants and products also as well as their colors is it then next we have indicating the gaseous products and the precipitate is it a gaseous product can be indicated by an upward arrow is it and the precipitate can be represented by a downward arrow in the reaction is it the precipitate is what for example yes, you can see lead acetate it is a colorless solution plus potassium iodide again colorless solution when it combines this forms lead iodide yellow precipitate precipitate is represented by a downward arrow is it and potassium acetate colorless solution is it so here the downward and upward arrow downward arrow is representing precipitate is it precipitate mean ppt that are the uh, crystals that are formed is it for example if you dissolve the sugar in the water and if you allow it to stand for some time then you will see the sugar will start making the crystals is it in the water is it it again again start becoming solid is it that solids are the precipitates you can say is it so that crystals or precipitate precipitate when we are joining actually when we are mixing the two solutions is it then we get the solid we get some kind of solid at the end is it or in the lower bottom of the beaker we get some solid that is called the precipitate is it so a precipitate is a solid that separates when a solution is added to the another is it so what is the precipitate the precipitate is a solid that separates when the solution is added to the another so you will soon take a look at, at some examples of precipitation reaction also is it later on so how the atoms arrange themselves during a chemical reaction or a chemical change carbon a new substance is formed because atom rearrange themselves is it in a chemical reaction a new substance is formed because atom rearrange themselves in a chemical reaction so when carbon is burnt in air it forms a carbon dioxide is it carbon atoms and oxygen atom it rearrange themselves to form carbon dioxide is it carbon atom and oxygen molecules these rearrange themselves to form co2 carbon dioxide is it so when burnt in air the hydrogen forms water this is how hydrogen and water molecules hydrogen and oxygen molecules rearrange themselves to form water molecules as two is it so you if you could count the atoms of each kind before and after the chemical change you will find that the number of atoms of each element remains the same is it so what are the energy changes that are taking place in the chemical reaction the chemical change knowing that the atoms arrange themselves in a chemical reaction so we will understand that a chemical reaction involves during a chemical reaction there are the two things that are happening the breaking up of the reactant molecules and the making up of the product molecules these are the two things that are happening the energy involved in these two types are not equal so overall reaction either releases or absorbs energy is it so in most of the cases energy is absorbed or given out in the form of heat is it however in the many cases light is also absorbed or given out so such reactions in which the heat absorbed or lost that are the two types of reactions endothermic and exothermic reaction 
we will discuss about the endothermic reaction first a reaction in which the heat is absorbed is called endothermic reaction absorbed means heat, we are giving the heat in this we are giving the heat to the reactants in this case is it for example nitrogen and oxygen during the electric spark during the electric spark it changes into nitric oxide so here the heat is absorbed in the form of electric spark then <coughs> calcium carbonate that is limestone heated at 900 degrees celsius it it forms calcium oxide and carbon dioxide is it again heat is absorbed in this case then next we have exothermic reaction a reaction in which the heat is evolved or given out that is called an exothermic reaction it is given out hydrogen and oxygen when combined with each other is it it one and it forms the water is it then carbon and oxygen carbon one and oxygen is it it forms carbon dioxide one is there that is heat is produced sodium hydroxide plus hydrochloric acid it forms sodium chloride plus water is it? again the heat is produced is it <coughs> so unlike an endothermic reaction and exothermic reaction once begun always reaches to the completion is it so as such heat is evolved as required for the reaction to go on is it so once it starts burning continues on its own is it for example when we are burning something until it is not burn the fire will remain burning is it so what are the characteristics of a chemical reaction so several characteristics changes accompany chemical reaction in many cases you can guess what has happened by observing these changes is it so very first thing is the change in color during a chemical reaction there is a change in color change in color of substance generally suggests that the chemical reaction has take, taken place for example when copper 2 carbonate is heated it is in green color it turns into black due to the formation of copper 2 oxide is it copper carbonate green in color on burning or on heating changes into topper 2 oxide and carbon dioxide is it that is in black color when dissolved in dilute sulfuric acid iron nails iron nails that are gray in color is it changes into green color solution it is iron 2 sulfate is it iron gray color reactive with sulfuric acid changes into iron 2 sulfate plus hydrogen is it for addo represent here the gas is it so this is one characteristics change in color then next we have the evolution of gas evolution of a gas ammonia has a pungent smell and hydrogen sulfide has a smell of other rotten eggs is it for example carbon dioxide turns lime water milky and hydrogen when ignited forms with the pop is it? it is producing the pop sound sodium plus hydrogen it gives sodium carbonate so this sodium hydroxide and hydrogen gas is it ammonium chloride plus sake lime is it when heated it gives calcium chloride plus water plus ammonia gas is it so when gas bubbles are formed usually with the hissing sound due to a reaction the phenomena is called the effervescence is it what is effervescence when gas bubbles are formed usually with the hissing sound due to a reaction then this phenomena is called the effervescence sodium carbonate and react with the hydrochloric acid to give sodium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide gas that is the effervescence 
then next we have next characteristics of the reaction is formation of precipitate so we have discussed about the precipitate already the formation of precipitate is also suggested by chemical reaction so in case of sodium carbonate because it colorless solution uh, added with the barium chloride again colorless solution it forms barium carbonate that is white precipitate and sodium chloride colorless solution is it next that we have discussed already lead acetate colorless solution when mixed with the potassium iodide colorless solution it gives lead iodide yellow precipitate and potassium acetate colorless solution is it this is one of the characteristics formation of precipitate next we have the change in state change in state a change in state is also taking place in the many, many reactions for example gases mixture of hydrogen and oxygen when ignited gives water vapor on being cooled water vapor gives water so here hydrogen and oxygen both are gases is it when one it forms water liquid when it is cooled is it next we ammonia gas react with the hydrogen chloride gas to form ammonium chloride so ammonia with the ammonium chloride gas sorry ammonia with the hydrogen chloride gas form ammonium chloride that is a solid there is a change in state is it so these are the characteristics of the chemical reactions so this was all about this chapter is it so in the next video we will discuss about the question answers of this chapter thank you